But actually what I'm going to say is just a reinforcement of what some of you have been doing in your research groups. So this is about how we did it in our, uh, in, in, in our research group. So basically, uh, yes, uh, I came back from 1998. Uh, I started a research group with four graduate students, and now the group has, ex has dramatically increased. We have three professors, one uh, postdoc, and lots of graduate students. But th the point for sustaining that innovation, you need graduate students. They are important. Mentoring is very, very important. Uh, my experience is you have to inspire them the same way that they also give you lots of ideas and energies. And um, yeah, that picture was taken, I think, in 2006. So I still look young. My students look old. <laughs> anyway, OK. Um, I guess this is also one of the ideas we would like to um, reinforce with, with the policies of UP. When I came back, I had no contract. There was no, there was no, I did not sign a contract. I came back on my own. One of the reasons I came back, UP and the researchers before me had the vision to put up a laboratory where I can work. And maybe that's one way we can recruit the other, uh, other Filipinos in returning. It's not so much of the contract. It's the research environment that we are promising them so that they will thrive here in the Philippines. It worked for me, it's working for my students. So, because of that, uh, we started with one equipment, that's the one on the left, and then to sustain the graduate students, to, to, to provide them a better environment than the one I started, um, I had to get other grants, I had to bundle grants, and I've also impressed on my students that this is the way of life that you are going to do when you enter the academe. Um, this morning somebody said that the, the, the humanities is one of, humanities teaches us or governs us. Science tells us what to do, but why? We're doing it, that's the realm of humanities. And one of the phrases I keep on saying to my graduate students, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to get all of those grants so that the next student would be better. I, I, I have this phrase that uh, I heard it somewhere. Sa aking ina, inga ako ang dingding na butas. Sa aking mga supling, inang ako ang maningning na bukas. So that, I, 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 I keep on telling them that. It's your responsibility to train the next set of scientists. Um, make it better by doing very well research publishing. So we're able to get all of those equipment. Lessons learned there, yes, you have to bundle grants. It's not going to come from just one research, uh, one funding agency. You have to work with the private industry. You have to work with the government. You have to work with CHED, with USD, and then you have to coordinate with the admin officials. Procurement came up. That's one of the roadblocks. Um, we were fortunate that we were able to work hand in hand with the admin people trying to figure out how to make life a little bit easier for us so that we get our equipment. If it's not possible, what are the other ways of getting those equipment on time? And I think we have a um, solution being proposed. So we, we thank the admin for doing that. Okay, um, some people are asking what, what our group is doing just to give a perspective of, of the competition out there and what I tell to my graduate students, the urgency of doing very good research, which we have to impress on them because the competition is tough. Uh, we work on molecular beam epitaxy for the dying scientists, the word epitaxy, we grow very, very thin films, and this is one of our work, uh, coupled with um, some collaboration with Tsukuba University. We are coming up with next generation devices, hopefully to make this so-called terahertz, the next Wi-Fi. So that's, that's one of our research. Um, this is actually work of Dr. Simintak, more on coming up with detectors for colorimetric uh, detection. It's a new way of doing it uh, by putting in a fluid, the thing changes color and it could be specific. So that's the, some of the research that we've been doing. And so, um, Culture of innovation, how, how were we able to sustain it? Uh, we 
foster a culture of free exchange of ideas. We get it from our graduate students. We get it from the private industry. Yes, we have to work with them. We get it from the SUCs. It's not just UP alone. We need the SUCs to get the graduate students. When they finish, they return to their, to their schools. They bring in more students for us. So it's a cycle. And yeah, last thing, that, 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 that maybe just reinforce the idea of UP as a hub. No? To recruit people, you have to prepare a lab for them. Um, give them all those benefits. Um, mentoring takes time. So we have to find a way to, to have the workload um, fixed between teaching and research. 